are here talking boots. Chataboutit.com, powered by CBS. Call us the last few minutes of the show. Get in on the conversation. 877-242-8212. And again, all the stuff that's been going on in free agency. LeBron James, obviously the, the big story of the league and where he's going to go, where he's going to end up. And then Chicago comes in at the last second and says all of a sudden he has a shot at going to Chicago. So we all gave our opinions of where we think he's going to go. I still think he's going to end up a Nick. James, where did you say you thought he was going to go? I don't need, I, my mind changes every week with this. I have. I mean, I, I first I was saying he's going to stay in Cleveland, then he's going to leave. I think he's going to play uh, baseball next year. Yeah, he, <laughs> my I tra- mean, what, he wants to be like Jordan so much that he, <laughs> he'll start playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's going to be an Indian next maybe, year. Maybe he'll have his own spit. You know what? Hey, the Knicks could definitely use a nice statue of LeBron outside of MSG if he comes. Because, you know, the Bulls have Michael Jordan. The Knicks I just need a winning record. Get, I heard he's going to get his own show if he comes to the Knicks. I heard that, too. That, that'd be like, what kind of a show? Like a talk show? Yeah, uh, some kind of a talk show. That's, so That's horrible. Well, that's where I think LeBron's starting to get bigger than the game right now with all this free agent talk. And I know I, want, I would like to elaborate on that more. I'll save that for next week, but... I'll end. I'll end it with that right over there. As far as LeBron being bigger than the game, and yeah, I mean, it, I like James just kind of said. I, I can literally change my mind every day. It's, it's about tough. where I think LeBron's going to go, but as of right now, <clears throat> I mean, Cleveland possibly adding Izzo could really go a long way for Cleveland bringing him back. And now they say that the Knicks' backup plan, if they don't get LeBron, could be trading David Lee for Tony Parker and then being able to sign two guys like Joe, uh, Joe Johnson and Amari Stoudemire, which is actually pretty interesting. How do you think that would pan out? I, I mean, right now, I mean, getting, getting a guy like Tony Parker, a point guard like that, who's a smart player, could really definitely help the team if you put, put a good supporting cast around it. But just trading, let's say, David Lee for Tony Parker and not knowing what else is going to be on the team, it's going to essentially it's be trading like a sirloin steak for a flat iron steak. I right. Guess. It's tough, <laughs> but with with but that that big three that would be a what do you think that would that become a big three in the NBA? Could that D- DP? What do you think? A Tony Parker, Joe Johnson, Amari Stoudemire. That's interesting. It could it could I mean it's got the makings of it, but you know if you compare it to other uh, big like uh, the big three that we know of, you know it really isn't compared to that. I mean I don't Joe Johnson, Tony Parker, and Amari. Compared to Garnett, Pierce, and Allen, I mean, it just doesn't sound as sexy to me. It could work out for them. No, it could very well work out. But I think the the main thing, though, with the big three that we're all known to watching right now is just the leadership of Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce and the veteranship of Ray Allen. Whereas those three guys that you mentioned, Parker, Johnson, and Stoudemire, both good players, great players, but I don't know if they have that leadership level to where those the Boston Big Three has right now. Right, and I think also, though, just bringing Amari into the East immediately, whatever team he goes to in the East becomes a playoff team. I truly believe that. I mean, he definitely has the talent to do, to, to contribute to a team. I mean, obviously, it, it all, again, it all depends upon what you put around him. Let's say if you right. put him, if you put Amari Stoudemire on a team that doesn't have a good supporting cast, he's not going to lead that team to the playoffs. Right, so we'll pick up more about the free agency and keep you guys up to date on what's been talked about, what's going on, all the rumors. Get it right here on Talking Hoops. Until then, guys, we will see you next time, next Sunday, 1 p.m. Talking Hoops comes back into play next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on chataboutit.com. Until then, stay connected by getting at us on iTunes. Catch you on the rebound.